Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Frostpunk Extreme once more, day 110 it is, and yeah, once again, a recurring problem, discontent. It is super high right now, we get the next ultimatum, this is really not optimal that we have to do this after or during every storm. So one of the, the goals is to get the discontent down. How can we do this? By normalizing, of course, also work shifts. However, we would need to normalize it for almost all of my workplaces. And for now, I'm not confident enough yet that we have enough coal production to actually do this. So what we can do is we can now finally start using those two coal deposits that we have. We got six coal steam cores, of course. Um, also, we should continue with providing them to the camps to further their development. But for now, I would really like to work on my own needs there as well. And that is then these uh, the coal production, right? I cannot endlessly continue here. We have the next coal thumper there. That is already nice. And they're all working on extended shifts, right? So this is also pretty severe. Um, yeah, those coal mines will also need workers, of course. And we have, of course, already the highest level there, the advanced coal mine. And this also needs three steam cores here. So let's go ahead and actually place us those two here, depleting our coal mine uh, or steam cores with that. And with them, we have them also within a shrine. And the other thing we still would need then here is also a steam hub for those guys here, right? So there is going to be some overlapping there again. Nothing else I could do. I could have it a bit further over here. Probably, yeah, this looks good. So I can actually have another one then here as well. So let's do this. There is this tiny area here. Of course, a field kitchen would also do wonders, right? A field kitchen would also boost their, um, their heat level. So let's get us a field kitchen in there. And then we have this road that goes all the way over here for probably another ho uh, two hot houses then that we can yeah two hot houses might be fine for this and then also the steam hub so that we can actually keep it running during storms as well the only thing here is we probably will need to have some homes that I could try i mean who would like to live here no one right let's actually have it here let's start here so we have those roads i just want to make this as tight as possible and then we have the road, right? And then we have the next steam hub. That would be then somewhere over. Yeah, the tricky thing is I would need to get both of them in. It's not as easy as it looks. Um, but I have one steam hub then here. And we can have another one then here for also the garden that I'm planning there. This actually is working out perfect. Let's have it like that. So that's finally it. We are starting with the coal mining as well. Um, and we'll just see how that turns out for my coal overall production then. Meanwhile, we are continuing also with chopping down the trees. This one is running out of trees now soon. Um, and this one also is going to run out soon. So this is two more productions that we will not need then anymore. And then we have, of course, this steam sawmill here that... Alright, they just stopped working. That's it. I was wondering why it's freezing. But of course, because they're not working right now. This district is coming along, so we're going to take a bit of time there. Uh, we have no more steam cores now, so I cannot, I don't think I can send anything over there, as they really only want to go with the steam cores at this point. There it is. And this steam hub here, actually, we are going to not have active for now, nor do we have this house here active, right? We don't need it. It was just there, really, to, to plan ahead there, and for now, it's not needed. We have the field kitchen uh, that I can actually staff with some people. Um, yeah. And this is going to provide then the warmth to the advanced coal mine here, number one, and advanced coal mine number two. Really tall buildings, look fantastic. And they are going to boost my coal output quite significantly, 6,500 per day. Though, yeah, we're on steam level three. But it's a nice bump, of course. All right, uh, it had to happen at some point. Rotting roots, we have it. As a result, the roots of the plants have rotted until they regrow. The hothouses will work at only 10% efficiency. This is really severe, right? So this will totally, totally wreck my food production. And with that, we have now a negative supply here of 200 per day. Um, we have, however, 10,000 food rations stored. It's going to last me six days, leading to 800 so we should easily survive it right at this point because we've stockpiled enough if this would have happened earlier uh, we probably would have ended the game because this is one of those things that can really break you there's the one for the hot houses right and then there's the one for the hunter huts and if that if it happens too early then it's game over basically now let's just check out my coal mines they're working now 
and they're producing almost a hundred coal per uh, per hour, right? Let's compare this one, for example, to a gathering post with 23. Um, of course, the steam coal thumper is the one that we should look at, and this is 111. So they're almost equal. The only difference is that the coal mine only requires 10 engineers, whereas the coal thumper requires 10, and then up to four gathering posts to collect this 50 workforce, right? So that is quite a severe difference between the two of them. However, of course, the coal deposits are not endless. And another emergency for the hot springs. The storm damaged installation that heats our plants. And this needs to be repaired ASAP. So let's just have a look what they want. Some wood we can supply. Also, there it is. Those two sawmills will run out of wood now. And there's the second one. So that's at least two more sawmills that I don't need. We can also dismantle the shrine out there in this one. It's been a pleasure. We might actually just keep some trees for people to wander around. There's, is there someone lying around here? There's two people standing out there in the forest. I <laughs> have no idea what they're doing. Enjoying the trees, of course. That might be something. Large crater survivors. Yeah, let's go let's got them home. Uh, so this scout team here was actually quite successful, right? Um, I'm not going to risk it any further, though, because the storm is closing in already again. So we will have at least two waves of survivors for this turn. And there's the other coming down. We can, we could actually keep the roads, right? Why not? It's not like I need the wood there, really. All right, another very dangerous hazard that is actually pretty bad in compare in, in combination with the other one that we just had. The steam cores are seizing, so the efficiency of all steam core buildings and automatons is reduced by 90%, which is really severe. It is affecting my coal mines, right? So they're down to 20 uh, per uh, hour now. We still maintain that positive balance, but now it's a bit tighter than before. Um, we have the hothouses once again, not working full capacity. So we continue onwards with a negative food supply all the way to the next storm so this will dwindle our resources by another 2000 food rations about that um all right this is still something we can also manage also very severe is though the infirmaries they are not working at 100 percent anymore some of them only work at 35 percent efficiency from now on this is really bad for us and this is severely reducing my recovery rates that we have so overall a very bad hazard one of the worst ones out there i think especially in later game uh, emergency funds uh, for the children's mine for some wood we can do this other than that i'm i'm still definitely um yeah not so optimistic about those hazards if there's another one coming in again that would affect my hot houses um after that then we might actually need to look at other means to provide food right so hunter huts i would probably need to build up to further diversify but we'll just see all right my scouts uh, steel, it's 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 not easy anymore here. I would really like to get something. Come on, not just steel. Give me something more than that. What is that? What is a transport? So what I'm doing actually is I'm going to reactivate my workshops. Yep, that's right. And we had a third one somewhere. There it is. And we're actually going to have a look into my hunter's gear, right? I mean, we were super unlucky now, but let's actually, just for the heck of it, also get the hunters upgraded. So that we diversify our food income a bit more. Because the further we grow, and we aren't fully grown yet, uh, the more food we consume. And if something like this happens where two or three times in a, in a row the hothouses are being affected, this could actually break us. So I don't want this to happen, of course. Empty, empty, empty. I love the word empty. Right, empty cave, empty snowfall. And so we're researching. So we have the flying hunters now. And now we can go into hunter tactics. So we employ fewer workers. Actually, we don't need the super now. Flying hunters gear. Actually, we get more raw food out of that. While we research that, we could actually go ahead now and build some hunter hangers. Right? So I, I didn't actually believe that I would need that. But at some point, you just have to go for it. And yeah, let's have them out here. Um, all the way behind my industry zone. We're just going to add us a, a couple of these. I mean, a couple. <laughs> I definitely want to play this safe, right? So, let's have them here. And we can build them. We have the workforce. I mean, not really, actually. Now that I think about it. Workers, we have 60. Engineers, we have 57. So, I would probably like to... If I want to get more workers out, we probably will have to relocate some of them to gathering posts and so. so there we have it, for example, right? 
And we have lots of children. So I could also allocate this. Because we do need these workers actually, right? For missions to the settlements. Another thing right over here. Uh, we don't have a church yet for these for these guys there. Alright, so we have one there. Perfect. And then, of course, we also will need one out here. And probably another one then right in here somewhere. Hmm, yeah, we could send, once again, helping hands. That's 35 people, though, they want from us. That's quite a lot, so I'm, I'm still going to wait on that. And there's my hunters. <laughs> so, they can actually go in for one hole for the night. And as you can see, we do need quite a few workforces there, even though with uh, the upgrades, then we can reduce this significantly. So they will bring in 24 per day. Right, as opposed to, for example, 1.7 per hour, but with the reduction right now, I think the hot houses are still far superior to this. Um, especially since, uh, at least I think, you can't boost the hunters with the Troy. Hunter, flying hunter gear, so this is now going to be more, so it's 39 raw food, of course, with all the upgrades, I think it's pretty equal. And then we have the few people there as well. So I do have now diversified my food income, right? So if one of them is a factor, we can just boost the other one. And children's mind. We thank you for the medics you sent to help our healthcare. There's still so much more sick kids than that. And we noticed that the youngest unfortunately wind up at the end of the queue. You can tell your medics to organize and enforce a queue starting with the more severely sick. Start with the sickest kids. Let them organize themselves. Now ah, let's start with the sickest. Actually this time around I'm going to displease them. Let's help the kids there a bit. And uh, they're working, right? Hunters are out there. Out of the crater they're hunting around us but just like with the hot houses the hunters do not work during a storm so this is something to keep in mind scouts are coming in again and yeah of course we'll also feel now the reduced efficiency of my infirmaries there quite a bit by the way by the way i don't think all the infirmaries have the shrine yeah we could go with another shrine here And this infirmary also does not have a shrine. There is no other workplace close by. So let's build it there. Super important. Every single bit counts, really. Negative 80. Let's actually go for, ne uh, for level 4 right away. So we keep the heat up as high as possible. So really no one is freezing. Because treatment time is just severely reduced right now. I'm also going to turn off my sawmills prematurely. By the way, the new sawmills are also running out of wood now soon. Yeah, and after the storm, just shortly after, we can feel that, right? We got 136 right now because of the reduced sick rate. Now, however, the hazard is gone again, so it's back to normal, and hopefully we get those sick down. So 130, that's severely reducing my economy right now, but I think we'll be, we'll be fine. Next hazard, frozen grounds, the gathering post, and all coal thumpers are working at 10% efficiency. So we basically could actually also just keep them offline. No, not really. They're still working at 30% because we're, of course, boosting them again with the shrine and also with my tech. So in this case here, 30% it is. This is still, of course, severe. And as we can see, uh, with that, we have a negative coal supply now. But we have 60,000 coal supplied. We have a, a discrepancy right now of 1,000 coal per day for six days no problem at all um and we can even further reduce the steam level here of course we can also if i want to go ahead um and turn off these steam hubs here for the industry zone the same goes with my coal mine and with that we actually have a positive surplus even though we have this hazard running so that is actually for a change a nice hazard for us only possible because we have started with the coal mining right so we have diversified the coal uh, production and we have diversified the food production and both of this is helping us now quite a bit i do have six steam cores the question is now what do we do with that i could either start with the wall drilling um we do have still 2000 2500 5000 eh, 4000 rather 4000 wood that the sawmills bring in so i'm going to risk it and say no we don't need the, the steam cores for the wall drills now we're going to continue with the expansion of my settlements here 
and the children's mine we are at level five with them yeah we can actually send them now the hot houses and the coal mine right so that's three steam cores for these guys here plus we can send them the helping hands reducing our workforce a bit but that's okay and the shipwreck camp would also like to get the steam sawmills that's actually three steam cores but okay let's go ahead with this and with this the settlements grow further i think actually for the shipwreck camp we might push it now to level five a six then so that would be another nice boost of course long hours of toil actually i wanted to go with reduced work uh time now for my coal production but looking at my uh penalties i don't think it's an it's an it's a good idea And yes, with that, the shipwreck camp is completed, right? So we got the first settlement completed and the children's mine is also completed. Great stuff. Two camps, two settlements fully completed. Now we just have the hot houses and they're still, they're still going to be a bit of work. Sir, a group of amputees is here to see you. They want to help in the cookhouse. We don't want to sit on our arses all day, content with it just uh, being kept alive. Content. Uh, we can't do hard work anymore, but if we fashion some simple prosthesis out of wood, we can help in the cookhouse and earn our keep. We will spend 100 wood and cookhouse efficiency will be ri risen or will rise by 40%. Of course, that is super easy. And with that, uh, yeah, my two cookhouses are now at 170% efficiency. Uh, that's that's pretty great, I think. The next sawmill is out of work. Let's dismantle it. With that, we have three more, two more sawmills actually only that are working for us now. But we have six steam cores, so we could go for a wall drill after the storm. Okay, once again, the storm is over. Let's oh wait a second. First of all, let's reduce the steam level again, and let's have a look. Pump renovation it is. All pumps will be overhauled and improved to expand the cultivated area. I would like to continue, of course, with uh, yeah providing for the hot springs. This should be fun. And with that, we are unlocking level five for the hot springs as well, and yeah, a whole bunch of things. So they want new pumps. Uh, for settlement, all right, we can do this. We can also give them a borehole. We will try to make food production safer without devastating your natural habitat and places important to the locals. Uh, oh, overflow redirection will not be possible anymore. This is the other one. The best way to do it would be flood the caves. All right, let's go with boreholes. Yeah. And then we have the wall drill as well. Wood deposits to help with the repair and maintenance of buildings and then also the comfortable housing that I'm also going to give them. And then I think only the helping hands is the last one, but for that we need 30 workers that we actually don't have right now. Because I'm also using them in the... in my... hunters, right? Hunter hangers there. That's something to keep in mind. With that, we still have two steam cores available. And I think we don't need to send any more steam cores over. Let's just wait for these shipments to arrive, and then we'll just decide on that. Yeah, I think I'm going to risk it. Let's actually get us the workforce. And with that, we can send helping hands over. And then we have also fully developed the hot springs. And that's going to happen in nine hours. All right, the last storm covered all the furnaces with a thick layer of ice. All steel production will be 70% less efficient. That's okay. That's a, a weak hazard. I can live with that, right? Because we have enough steel anyway. And there it is, hot springs fully developed now. And with that, we have all the camps now fully developed. They're also all loyal to us as far as I can see. And we have unlocked the achievement with that. How very good. All right, some steam cores are coming in. Um, I would like to use two of them for the large gardens finally, right? So we have um, the space then here. Oh, actually, you know what? We had the street there as well. Let's just see how we can place them. Something like that. And then another one on the other side. Something like that. We we'll also, of course, need to properly heat this area then. So I'm going to need another uh, steam hub then over here somewhere. First of all, we need to make sure that I'm not wasting it too much. I mean, hmm. It's a lot of space that these gardens require. I think this would be the best way. Yeah. 
Let's have a steam up here. And then I'm going to need another one for this area. So this is pure luxury, right? <laughs> but it's going to be worth it. And then we have one here. I think this will also be safe to, to use here. Perfect. There you go. Uh, with that, this plaza is coming along uh, that I wanted to do, right? And we can also go ahead and have then some more street lights here. Just around the, the garden there, really. With that, uh, we are really close now to the coal, right? So this is still not stable enough. We still don't have that endless, endless mode here. And I still also need to work on extended shifts to make this work. All right, the next storm. As we are approaching the next storm, or as we are in the next storm, actually, the last sawmills are out of business. So I'm going to dismantle this one. This is ending in era, right? No more trees. I'm keeping a few trees as souvenirs. So over there and over there, these are little parks, right? National parks. <laughs> I'm going to declare it now a national park. And yeah, there's people around that or usually, you know, they like to go to walk in the forest. It's fine for them and they can do this. However, now we have no more source of wood. Lucky us, we got eight steam cores that we found. So I'm going ahead and we can now finally have that advanced wall drill. We could build two of them. I'm going with one for now, right? And out here, there is actually already then the, the road connection as well. I mean, this one is getting dismantled now. Let's dismantle this and let's build the new one, right? And yeah, we're probably going to make a straight road basically from here then. That goes then to this area here. It's really far outside, so it's going to take them a long time just to get to this place and build it. Um, and that's then the steam course that we are basically now using on that. Once again, as expected, another ultimatum. We're still fighting this, right? As we're entering now, day 150, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so we've come a long way. Uh, let's put the, the heater on. I don't need an, uh, an extended shift on the wall drill though, right? So this is the highest level for this as well. Of course, as always, we are also going to activate this one with a shrine, right? So we're going to, to really boost its output there once again with this nice passive bonus that we have. Storm is over, and 150 days we have survived so far. Stay tuned! <laughs> 